Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to film for you today my hashtag 365 days of samples, sample roulette. This is going to be my seventh update for this sample roulette. Last week I finished up like 14 products and this week I think I finished up 12. I've already filmed this video once and I absolutely hated the way I was acting in the video so I wanted to go ahead and refilm this and um, show you the products that I did use up in the last week some of these I did not pull out of last week's basket because I just kind of plucked them out of other places just to try and use them up because they were either half used or I had a need for that product and didn't want to open a full size or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the product starting with a product that I really enjoyed but it was a disappointment at the same time and I'll tell you why it has nothing to do with the product this is the Bulgari um, tea bag for bath and this is what the product looked like and I was really kind of skeptical because I'd never um, seen a tea bag for bath before. Also I know that Bulgari tends to be a little bit of a strong scent. I'm going to kind of show you the little bit of product that's left in here if you can see it. Um, I don't know if you can see it's in the corner here. And so what happened with this um, product is I was attempting to take a bath. I had had a really stressful day at work and I wanted to come home and just relax and have a nice bath. And I started to run the bath and I usually run it with like... Um, 75 25 hot water to cold water and it's normally still pretty hot and so I filled it I tossed this in I went around it was just um getting clothes to put on after and a towel and just kind of doing some random things while the bath was filling up and when I came back to the bath this had mostly dissolved with the exception of this little bit of product here and um the bath was like not even lukewarm. It was to the point where I couldn't even sit in it and be comfortable because it was kind of cool in the house. It is getting kind of cool here in Florida. And I was taking a warm bath to kind of get the chill out of my body and just kind of relax. And we realized that one of the heating coils in our hot water heater had gone. So it was like a hell of a way to find that out. But I was a little disappointed that I had wasted this product. Um, I do have a little bit left. I am going to try and put this in a bath um, with a little bit that I have left. But I don't know if it will even make a little bit of a difference because it's just so little bit of product. But um, anyways, this is a repurchase for me if I could ever figure out where to purchase these. Because the idea of this just intrigues me. Um, it's just kind of a different take on the bath bombs from Lush and Epsom salts and things like that. I just thought it was really cool and I really enjoy the scent. So if I can ever figure out where to repurchase this, I would absolutely go ahead and rebuy it or repurchase it. I don't know if it comes in multi-packs. I don't know how expensive it is, but it is something I would like to try again. The next product is the Asai Deep Conditioning Mask. And actually, this is a product that um, I found uh, recently at my local Harmons and I had never seen this as I don't know where to get most products from Glossy Box, Birch Box, Ipsy, all of those kinds of things. I don't get those boxes anymore but that's where this came from and I was really excited to see it there because I knew that if I enjoyed this product I would have somewhere that I could go and purchase it and I really did enjoy this product. I have a lot of hair so I was able to use this entire um, product. There might be a little bit left in here but I was able to use most all of this product in my hair in one use and my hair was so soft for like days afterwards so I really really enjoy this and would definitely repurchase this in the future and glad that I have somewhere that I know I can repurchase it. Uh, the next product, the next two products go together. They came in this Way to Go Beauty uh, Real Clean Gel gelled oil cleanser and ideal skin perfect finish foundation and one is a um, a try again for me and one is a no-go. This way to go real clean gelled oil cleanser was nothing special to me. There was so little product in here. I was able to use it and take off my makeup but it wasn't anything special and not something I would um, look to repurchase. I don't think these get sold together. I think just the sample kind of came together. Um, this is the way to go beauty medium Ideal Skin Perfect Finish Foundation. I'm wearing this today. This has got a beautiful finish to it. It's got very nice coverage. I really enjoyed this product. It kind of um, allows my oil to come through by the end of the day, but all I have to do is blot once 
and I am good to go. I really do enjoy this. I find that this stands up to all of the foundations that I really do enjoy in that um, I enjoy it just as much. So I would definitely repurchase this again or at the very least try it again. I don't know if... I don't know if the actual product is sold this way, but if it is, it's kind of a turn off. I did have to cut the corner of this to get the product out. There's a big round plastic disc in here, and this is what actually dispenses the product. I don't know if you can see. Um, there's a hole there, and if you push, you get product out. There's very little in here, but um, this little thing covers the hole and plugs it but I found it very hard to get product out of this type of delivery system so this would be a very big turn off and probably a reason I wouldn't repurchase it if it's sold this way I haven't even looked into it or looked it up but I really would enjoy this product again the product itself so um, the next product was a little weird which I said it was going to be this is the 32 effervescent breath treatment with isovoxy cleansing um, the effervescence of this, I used this right after I filmed the last video. The effervescence of this is in like a sugar crystal type form and then when you put it in your mouth it's like pop rocks. I don't know if anybody's ever had pop rocks but it kind of like jumps and pops around in your mouth as soon as you touch it to your um, tissues, as soon as you touch it to like saliva or anything like that. So the flavor was pleasant it wasn't like a mouthwash in that you know you don't really desire to swallow a mouthwash and it doesn't really have that um alcohol um strong alcohol content that most um uh mouthwashes do it's got like a um winter mint or a spearmint kind of flavor that a gum would have so um but i didn't find that this really did anything i don't have bad breath in general but i didn't find that this did anything i'm not going around breathing on people and asking them to tell me how my breath smells so uh it does claim to have a lasting um breath freshening aspect to it but nothing different to me than a regular mouthwash so not a repurchase for me this is the Fakai Advanced Essential Shea with Moisturizing Renewal Complex. Again, as I suspected, I really didn't enjoy this just like I didn't enjoy the other one. This does have like a gelled kind of consistency more than like a cream consistency that most shampoos do have. I found that my hair was just as stringy and hard to comb through as any other Fakai type product that I've used so far. So I've yet to find the perfect Fakai product for me, but this just may be a brand that is not for me. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I did not pull this from my last basket, but I did have a need for a shadow primer, and I'm now using a deluxe size sample of the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, but I did pull this out before I started using that. I did use this up. I didn't find this to be anything special. I know a lot of people prefer this over any other ones. Um, it's something that I would definitely repurchase should I need one in the future. Because I did like it, but I find that other drugstore and cheaper products do kind of perform the same way. So not necessarily something I would repurchase, but it is um, going to be listed as a repurchase because I did enjoy it. This is the Purity Made Simple. Did not enjoy this, just like I didn't enjoy the last one. I don't like the scent. It does the job just fine, but there's other mo um, face washes that I would prefer over using this. This is the Basha Subaki Cleansing Oil Gel. I know I was really excited for this the last time, but to be honest, I think I was really just excited for the packaging. It was really pretty. Um, and I thought I had heard good things about this, but I'm really not a fan of the scent. The product worked just fine, but again, not a fan of the scent and wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream, and again, nothing special to me. I use this as a moisturizer in the morning. The scent was pleasant, but not something that I feel like I need to buy, so I don't know that I would purchase this one specifically. I do use other moisturizers and ones that I prefer, so. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Laser-Free Regeneration Moisturizing Gel Cream. Again, not something I pulled in the last... Um, sample roulette however um, I knew that I had used this and so when I saw this in the bag I kind of plucked it out because I knew I'd used probably more than half of it and kind of put it away after that I did enjoy this I would call this more like a silicone type texture more than a gel I like the feel on my skin but I didn't really notice any huge 
um, effect from this. It definitely doesn't give you an instantaneous effect other than maybe smoothing out your face, which you don't need at nighttime. But I didn't find any lasting effects of this. And I'm using so many different face products that it's hard for me to tell when I do have something that is giving me a lasting effect versus something that's more immediate. And I really tend to not um, want to repurchase something that doesn't give me an immediate result just because I mean how can you with these samples decide whether something's going to work for you or not and I'm not going to go out and purchase it just because I like the scent if I don't know that it's going to give me those long lasting effects or benefits that they claim to give so that's really that's the hard thing about these kinds of samples but um, if it gives me like and I notice that it's got a really really um, nice effect when I first use it or if it's got a like a phenomenal out of this world texture or formula or scent that's the only time I might consider repurchasing something this is the lac lac this is the Lorac Porefection Mattifying Face Primer and I loved this I'm so glad that I found another type of um hey hey I'm glad that I found another type of silicone primer that I really enjoy since I didn't have the greatest experience with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure. I definitely wouldn't repurchase that and I really felt like in the past I wasn't a fan of silicone primers until I found that one and then the scent was just totally not something that I would enjoy putting on my face. So I'm really glad that I found this one and definitely something I would repurchase should I um, need something like this in the future after I use all my samples. So it's definitely going to be needed, but I don't know when I'm going to need it because I do have other samples and things that I can use. So really enjoyed this. That was a definite repurchase. And the last thing I wanted to do was go ahead and update you on this Pure Advanced Antioxidant Therapy Ampules. I really do enjoy these. I've been using these, the um, orange ones at night, the brown ones during the day. You can see the little um, bulb here is separated. That is one that I used. This is um, one that I've used. I can squeeze that all the way. These almost have a silicone type texture and I feel like they really smooth out my skin when I put them on. I put them on before my nighttime and daytime moisturizer and I really feel like my skin looks a little more flawless after I use these. So I really enjoy that because it almost primes your skin before you even use a moisturizer or a primer. So it's really nice. I really enjoy these and I've got like four left. I use two at night and I use one in the morning. So the brown ones last me a little longer than the um, orange ones. The orange ones will only last me one more use. So we'll go ahead and pick products out of this bag. There will come a time that I probably will not show this bag just because I've done so many updates of these already. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go. I think I pulled like nine products. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing I pulled is not a sample at all. This is a nose strip that somehow found its way in there, so I'll just go ahead and use that up. The next product is the Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier for Perfecting Color Treated Hair. I've heard good things about the Purology products. This says it's a lightweight mist, primes, protects, and perfects while delivering 21 essential benefits for color-treated hair. So I'm glad this isn't a hairspray because I'm really bad with hairsprays. I do still have a hairspray that I pulled earlier on in this project and um, have yet to really get some use out of. Okay, so I pulled two of the same product here. I think I'll count these as one product just to try and um, get a feel for the product. This is the DNA Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt. This is the Transforming Pearl Serum. It says it diminishes wrinkles, revitalizes, firms, lifts, and that's all it says. It says apply on cleanse skin AM and PM. So maybe what I'll do is I'll use this in the AM and this in the PM, but they do have a little bit of... Um, product in it so I might get a couple uses out of them but we'll see how these go. Um, this is the Revlon Color Burst Hot Pink Lip Gloss. I'm not sure how I feel about this delivery system but we'll see how this works. 
This is the Jergens Daily Moisture Smoother Skin Moisturizer. This is the Basha Oil Free Nightly Hydration. This is the Temple Spa Quietude Calming Mist. And this I got the last time I stayed at a Crown Plaza hotel. And it says gently spritz on wrists or apply as a light body spray, avoiding face and eyes, and the soothing aromas will help induce the feeling of peace and relaxation. As you relax, the tension will ebb away and total ease will sweep over you. Contains rich fusion of essential oils including lavender, patchouli, grapefruit, and thyme. I might really enjoy this because I really do like lavender, l lavender and I like patchouli as well. So this should be really nice and um, I might use this as a facial spray. This is the Benefit Air Patrol and I'm really excited to use this. I don't know how much product is in here but I'm really excited to use this and give this a shot. See how I like this. And... That is it. I picked one, two, three, four, five, six. I did pick seven products, one extra, and one not sample. So um, I will come back next week and give you an update on these products. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please check out some of the ladies that I shared in the last video. I will put their uh, videos down below again. And um, also if I find any other little ladies that are doing little ladies. If I so I hope you guys enjoyed this next installment of my sample roulette. I feel like it's going really well so far. I think I've used up a total of 50 samples which is really great. Um, we're only a month and a half into the year so I'm really excited that I've already used up that many samples and um, I will go ahead and link the girls down below that I linked in the last video. Please go ahead and check them out. If I find any other ladies that are doing this here on YouTube I will go ahead and link their videos down below. If you're doing this and you don't think I know about it or I haven't mentioned you please comment down below I'd love to check out your videos and I'd love to include you in my down bar so that people can check out your videos as well and again I hope you guys enjoy my videos hopefully um, you will have already seen my bi-weekly makeup basket I'm trying so hard to get that up today it is due today today is Sunday Valentine's Day so again I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and I will see you guys in my next video bye I forgot to mention you can follow along with me on Instagram. I am posting my samples that are finished as well as my empties for each month. I'm posting them as I finish them. So those will be over on my Instagram. I'm not doing the updates on whether I, they're a pass or a fail or what I think about them. And I'm also not labeling the pictures anymore just because it took so much time. So I'm just taking the pictures, posting them up there, and putting like... 21 through 22 of 365 or whatever it is. So um, go ahead and follow along with me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.